Hi, welcome to SBR Hi. Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the wild card round of the NFL playoffs, and we are talking right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, who has taken every game that I've asked him to cover this year and in the playoffs. No different. Cincinnati, Indianapolis, kind of the wild card game that has been most scary to uh, our guest handicappers, and no one wanted it, so Joe Duffy is agreeing to take it. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, Peter, in the, what, three years that we've been doing this, I think the only time I turned down a game, I said, no, that was going to be my game of the year or something like that. And that was the only time I didn't want to take a game, but I think every other game I took. Yeah, absolutely. And that just speaks to your uh, your courage as a handicapper. I guess you you know, you know impress me. You impress the hell out of me with your analysis uh, on every game. Uh, and it's especially the games where you don't necessarily think you have a big edge, where your analysis is most illuminating because it shows how you're thinking. It shows what you're looking at, how you balance uh, each side out. All right, before we get your take on Cincinnati, Indianapolis, give a quick plug for OffshoreInsiders.com. Tell everyone how your site, uh, what your site's all about with the plays that you do love each week. Well, if you want someone who's got the hot hand, I certainly have had that since uh, early to mid-December. And if you want someone who's won long-term, well, it's an all-time slam dunk. I've been winning publicly for 27 years, and my plays are now at Offshore insiders.com all right joe duffy again joe takes all the games i asked him to take they're always the games that uh, well they're usually the games that uh, are just uh, no other handicapper sees an edge in and this i can certainly see why that would be indianapolis the line is split minus three or three and a half the total is 49 and both these teams have quite a bit to recommend them right indianapolis was nine and three against the spread over their first 12 games of the year then they were just one two and one against spread over their last four but in general obviously a, a very scary team to bet against uh, 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 undervalued and a good bet overall on the year. Cincinnati, though, uh, they had some good wins down the stretch, really impressed uh, week in and week out. Andy Dalton looking like he might be able to put together strings of, of weeks where he plays well. Uh, overall on the year, they were 50-50 uh, generally, but they were 6-2 and two against the spread as an underdog this year. So, you know, Cincinnati getting three and a half points here. We've seen them play uh, well repeatedly in recent weeks on the road. That's a scary proposition to bet against as well. Tough game, Joe. What's your take on this game? The pick actually here for me is going to be on the under. The, okay. the Bengals recently, they've become a little bit more run-oriented. Jeremy Hill, he's really exploded. Talk about a guy who just keeps getting better and better and better. Andy Dalton, we know that he struggled in some big games before. So I really think that Cincinnati is going to try to establish the run. In the case of the Colts, they've been trying to get more balance. Of course, their run game is based a little bit more on moving the chains. They don't have any of the explosive running backs. They're more on just kind of grinding it out. And Cincinnati, as we know, they've got a heck of a defense. And if the Colts in any way adjust their game plan to the strength of Cincinnati, keep in mind that the Bengals are much better against the pass than they are against the run. And uh, they're holding teams to point six yards per pass below their normal average. So Cincinnati is very good against the pass. So I, I think it would behoove the Colts to try to establish the run as well. And look, each one of these guys, every, all the Sharps are going to be looking at the injury reports because Cincinnati, A.J. Green, he's got to uh, pass that concussion protocol. Reggie Wayne, he says he's definitely going to play, but we're talking about an older player who's banged up a little bit. So, you know, both of these teams have a key receiver who is uh, hurt and I really think both teams are going to try to establish the run a little bit so I like this game under. All right I can certainly see that the total is high at 49. Uh, the only thing it make, gives make me nervous I mean Cincinnati like you said they did start to trend under in the second half of the year two and six over under over their last eight games and Cincinnati was interesting their last four games in a row all went under before that though they were a strong over trender nine and three over under in their first 12 games and I guess I'm just a little bit nervous that they sort of wore down uh, at the end of the year and that's why their game started to trend under but now that they're maybe rejuvenated a little bit for the playoffs they'll start to play back to their uh, original style which is uh, higher scoring more over trending and in Cincinnati you know we know what they can do when Dalton's good he plays well, and they tend to uh, to be high scoring as well. So uh, I could certainly see Cincinnati keeping up. Are you concerned that Indianapolis will sort of reverse their style back to uh, how they were in the beginning of the year? Well, we're, we're never 100% certain. Now, I, I do think that uh, Indianapolis is, is going to, as I said, try to establish the run and keep it in mind with the Bengals. In their case, when they signed a Andy Dalton to that huge contract, they obviously thought that he was their franchise quarterback. They're kind of stuck with him. Look, he's a decent quarterback, but I think with the development of uh, Jeremy Hill, they're going to be a lot more run-oriented. So they're going to continue to try to win more with the run than they have 
under uh, Andy Dalton, where it looks like they were going to try to to win with uh, Andy Dalton being the key player on offense. But uh, that's changed a little bit, and there's no question that Colts have been trying to establish the uh, the run all year long. And their defense, it's it's a pretty decent defense. I mean, the Colts had a lot of questions about their defense entering the year. When you look at the key metrics, which are yards per rush allowed and yards per pass relative to what their opponent normally gets, they're an average defense. They're not a spectacular defense, but they're an average defense. And with this uh, total pretty high, an average defense is not too bad when you consider that Cincinnati's got a heck of a defense as well. All right, Joe, great analysis and insights as always. Can't really disagree with your uh, recommendation here under 49. Thanks so much, Joe. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.